Hey, thanks for joining me on Pagosa Adventures. I'm Brandon, and today we are going to be taking a tour of some of the Airstreams that they had there at the Florida RV Super Show. Now, last week, I did an entire video on all of the leisure travel vans. Now, my wife, Jan, and I, we have a leisure travel van, Unity FX, as well as a 27-foot Globetrotter, so we got the best of both worlds. Now then, if you're a leisure travel van fan, make sure you stick towards the end, because we show an Airstream Atlas, and I kind of compare it to a leisure travel van, so you might want to see that. Anyway, let's jump down to Tampa and take a look at all of the models of the Airstreams that I walked through, including the Pottery Barn, uh, the Office, and that new Flying Cloud, all kinds of Airstreams. So let's jump over there to Tampa right now. All right, made my way over to Airstream. And if you're a fan of Keep Your Daydream KYD on YouTube, then you'll want to see this. This is their exact floor plan that they have. This is the Flying Cloud 30. And so let's go in and take a look. All right, this Flying Cloud floor plan, I think, is going to be very familiar to people because Keep Your Daydream has so many viewers. So this is a two-bedroom model, perfect for families. As we turn to the right, you see that large front bedroom there with the almost queen-size bed with some storage up above. And as we turn around, you see that large dinette, a secondary seating area there with that couch there. And then, of course, the kitchen is pretty good size there. Now, this is where the game changer is for families. There's the upper bunk there and then the lower uh, bed there with its own TV. So the kids can be back there, not bothering you, hopefully. And then the bathroom, of course, is really good size as well. These 30-foot Airstreams do have pretty good size bathrooms. Just keep in mind that they're not as tall because they're on that rounded edge. But anyway, uh, there's the storage. You've got that large dinette again, uh, which is your lounge as well. There's your TV and those big open windows that make an Airstream fantastic. All right, here I am at the very popular Pottery Barn Airstream. So let's go in, take a look, and see if this particular Airstream is for you. Now, it does have a premium because it says Pottery Barn on it, and they do a few upgrades I'll show you inside. But anyway, the Pottery Barn, a very, very popular Airstream. Now, let's take a step inside and take a look. So you can see it's got the front living area. Now, the one thing you need to know about the Pottery Barn is this couch is cloth. So if you've got dogs or you do any real RVing, man, that thing is going to get filthy real fast. But what I love about all the little touches they have, their lights are, are very Pottery Barn-ish. And so as you can see, very different things like the valances that are a little bit different, countertops, and of course this sink faucet and then looky there same thing cloth seats on the uh on the on the dinette there so again you could have a problem if you do some real rving and then as you can see back here it is the the queen bed all of their little little uh lights and everything are a little bit different in this particular model their cabinets tops are a little shiplac there so if you're into this kind of look the pottery barn would be a fantastic fantastic floor plan for you oh look at that subway tile little round sink a round mirror and of course then there's those light sconces once again so of course they're trying to get the uh the kind of the trendy look right now but uh but basically like i said if you just plan on being in a nice RV park with concrete pads and never plan to get muddy, never plan to have your dogs get get muddy, well then this is the perfect floor plan for you. But if you do real RVing, man, I would be very wary of these cloth seats. All right, inside the Airstream Classic, as you can see, they've got upgraded cabins. That's what you get in the Classic, is a little better fit and finish. This really nice couch back here looks super comfortable and then of course these giant countertops which is interesting um, seems like I add a lot of weight but as you can see they've got a nice dinette there and then where I'm going to show you and the reason we went with a twin bed model when you come back here to this bedroom this bed takes up so much room with our uh, twin bed model you get all of this room that you can walk all the way to the back and it's just so much more room here you have to just kind of shimmy you don't really have any room so making the bed is going to be difficult getting dressed back here is going to be difficult whereas in the twin bed model just so much more room let's take a look at the bathroom okay this bathroom is 
pretty nice with that upgraded cabin cabinet there seems a little it's definitely bigger than our globetrotter bathroom not bigger but differently laid out so that's good nice bathroom however the showers and airstreams are really terrible not a fan at all as you can see the wheel wheel well is there so it gives you very little room to stand up in there and it's really short no skylight to put your head up in so anyway that is the airstream shower not a fan but this is overall a beautiful beautiful airstream all right here is the flying cloud now this particular addition is fantastic for full timers with remote work because guess what they have a standing desk inside this flying cloud now then you can like i'm assuming it comes with that chair as well but look at that that is a standing desk with a little power grid there so that you can charge your computer put it everything in and then you have this dinette uh the same but what they did is they kind of took this area that usually is more seating area and really implemented it with a desk so fantastic for remote workers now then the flying cloud is a is mid-tier mid uh, airstream so the cabinetry is not quite as nice um some things just aren't quite as nice this cabinet definitely is, isn't as nice as our globetrotter or the classic or even the international but basically it's going to be very very similar to most airstreams as floor plan other than that pretty much uh basic flying cloud except for this fantastic standing desk all right, here is my favorite Airstream. This is the one we bought. We have a 27 footer. This is a 30 footer, so it's a little differently laid out than ours. This has the dark wood as well, but let's go in and let's take a look at the 30 foot Airstream Globetrotter, my favorite uh, model of Airstream, the Globetrotter. Okay. Now this is the, um, the darker wood with that darker, um, the, the, the darker uh, material. Now, as you can see, this material is much more made for RVing. It, it is absolutely great. Our dogs get all muddy. They come in, it wipes right up. That pottery barn, man, I would, I would be very wary of that with dogs. Anyway, this is set up. That's the actual the dining table there. You just raise that up, and it becomes a dining table. They've got it now where you can put this into an extra bed. But as you can see, with the darker wood, it definitely gives it more claustrophobic than our lighter wood. But with the 30-footer, you do have your uh, your kitchen on the uh, on this side here as well, and then of course you just have this all of this giant giant seating space. Which 27 footer is perfect in my opinion. Now then, as you come back here, basically it's all going to be the same from here. But this bathroom is a bit larger because it's a 30 footer, so they do add some of the space there in the 30 footer, and then the the closets are going to be the same size as our 27 footer now if you get a 25 footer this is where they take space you only get one side of this so you can lose space in your closet in a 25 footer the uh the shower is going to be the exact same now the one thing i like about the globetrotter as well is their cabinetry is fantastic uh their uh, their uh, their lighting is fantastic i really love the globetrotter is by far my favorite airstream and so Better than the classic, definitely better than the Flying Cloud or the International, just because the styling I really, really love. So this is the Globe Trotter 30 footer. All right, let's take a look at this International. It looks like it's probably a 23 footer, but let's go in and take a look. This does have the lighter cabinetry, which I do feel like gives you a little bit more of a spacious feel just because it's not so bright. This is a rear bath model. And so your bathroom is really, really large in these rear bath models. Classic has one. Uh, and then, of course, this is the International. This has one. And then, of course, as you can see, your cabinetry with the International is this opaque material. I'm not a fan of that as much as I am the Globetrotter. Um, the Globetrotter, it opens all the way up there, which I like much better. And then, as you can see, this is that uh, light blue material. And it is more of an ultra leather um, and so but it's more like the classic I do believe and the in the feel of it now this is the twin bed like I was telling you about you have all of this walk room and a in a fantastic little nightstand there 
and these beds are fantastic and so you've got your tv there uh the twin bed by far is if you get an airstream and you and I, i'm telling you twin bed is the way to go just because you have so much more room so much more room to walk and the bed doesn't take up that entire uh that entire back room back there but this is the international okay let's take a look at some of the airstream vans including the atlas probably the closest thing to a leisure travel van that you can get as far as when it comes to quality and so let's go take a look at the atlas as well as the interstates i'm sitting in the tommy bahama interstate and this thing is pretty nice so i'm just got a nice price tag to go along with it but anyway let's take a look at the airstream vans all right, here I am at the Airstream Atlas, one of the closest competitors to a leisure travel van. So let's go inside, take a look, and see exactly what all the hype is about and the $100,000 more of a price tag that one of these takes over a leisure travel van. All right, exteriorly, I mean, they're pretty much the exactly the same. They've got the same uh, Mercedes-Benz chassis all of the upgrades. Now, the only thing that this Atlas is going to have that, an air, that a leisure travel van does not is going to be air suspension which is going to be pretty fantastic so you can see they come standard with alcoa rims uh the outside storage though not a lot there's this one thing right there let me see if i can open that up show you what that is so you've got a little bit of storage there but they do add a light something leisure travel vans should do now this is the tommy bahama version so it's going to be even more money than just a regular atlas then over here i mean really all of your outside storage I'm sure that's your wet bay right there is under here so leisure really has you beat they do some really good outdoor storage so let's jump in and take a look at the airstream atlas okay the first thing i noticed off the bat they have a textured floor covering whereas leisure has a laminate i do believe and then as you can see now this is tommy bahama so not all atlases are going to be like this you see that is some really nice wood grain there and then they also have this so no telling what you're paying for this little uh, graphic right there but anyway as you can see this is a murphy bed that's the only floor plan they offer i do believe uh, and it's power too i think you push a button and it comes down so there is that and then uh, this is their upper storage not as much as a leisure travel van, I don't believe. Ours opens up like that, so it's a lot better in my opinion. But again, all of that up there is probably going to be about the same. Now then, what you're going to do is you're going to run into the same thing that the MB as well as the FX run into, which is that window is not open when that door is up. That's why that new MBL floor plan is fantastic because you have that window open. Then they have a TV pops up this is basically a carbon copy of the leisure travel van except for things like a drink holder that's funny that's real island life and then you come in here and then here's their bathroom really well lit but no um, a skylight there so i don't know if that's a plus or a negative i think a negative because i like that natural light in the bathroom and then all of this is basically the same really nice corian countertop here and of course all of your storage as well back there and again lights everywhere so you get that for the extra hundred grand that light it's not coming on i don't know why that doesn't come on but anyway so basically a carbon copy uh but it looks like this is a yeah that's right this is a better refrigerator for sure looks like it's all electric no propane so that's good but other than that pretty small kitchen um and then just overall i mean the blinds i just don't see a hundred thousand dollars extra for an atlas but it is really really nice